Today is the first day of 2021, and game developers are already vying for the top game of the new year. Some of these games will not be a surprise to you. In fact, some of them have been promised to us for years. But then there are a few that so far have stayed a secret. Let me start off by saying that this video is not going to be predicting the top 10 games of 2021 in regards to the Play Store or to the App Store. There are a lot of casual gamers out there, which allows money spent on advertising to greatly affect those numbers, which is why games like Candy Crush, State of Survival, and Clash of Clans are so often at the top. Those games will always be at the top of those charts because of their advertising techniques. But then there are the games that start to explode among serious games. PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile are some of the more famous ones, but each year brings forth new games that catch fire. So let me tell you about the games that will be the 10 best games of 2021. The first game is Wild Rift. This will probably not be a big surprise to many of you because there has been a lot of excitement building up to its release as Riot Games has worked hard to recreate League of Legends into a game that is both fun and balanced for the mobile phone. As an eSport, Wild Rift players will enjoy unlimited fun even if there's not that many updates from the devs. Wild Rift has already been released in Europe and the rankings are going through the roof, staying in the top 10 in most categories of its genre. And Riot has stated that they plan to release the game to the rest of the world at some point this year. So this will definitely be one of the top games of 2021. And as I promised you guys last year, I will be making one of my tips and tricks video for this game once it comes out in the United States. The second game on the list is Frostborn. This will probably come as a surprise to many of you because most people have never even heard of this game. So let me explain why it will be a top game for this year. Some of you might remember a game called Last Day on Earth that came out four years ago and exploded to millions of players in just a few months. And they won the award for the most innovative game of 2017. Well, it turns out that the game was built on a technology that couldn't support its original intention, which is why the AI multiplayer aspects of the game never got replaced with actual multiplayer. But Last Day on Earth has been making that small game company Kafir millions and millions of dollars, and it still often shoots up into the top 50 highest grossing games. So what it looks like Kafir did over the last four years is invest a lot of that money into a new game with more advanced technology to support a more advanced version of their game. Kafir just released Frostborn globally a month and a half ago, and it is quickly becoming evident by the amount of content that they have saved up for subsequent updates that it seems like their plan is to make this game their next global phenomenon. So I think Frostborn will definitely be a top 10 game for 2021, and I'm actually so confident about this that starting about six months ago, I dedicated an entire gameplay channel exclusively to Frostborn, which has already started to explode with the game. Obviously, they have a long way to go to become a top 10 game, but the quality of the game is already there. Now they just need to do all of the right advertising and bug fixes to reach the top. The third game is Diablo Immortal. Like Wild Rift, this is another long-awaited game from a big game company. NetEase confirmed two years ago that all of the game mechanics and content in the game was complete and ready to go, but the bad publicity gained in the way that Blizzard announced the game's arrival caused them to postpone it. Some of us were starting to wonder if they were ever going to release this game, but a few months ago they started a pre-release version, which means that it should surely come at some point this year. Diablo Immortal is a hack and slash RPG, and the gameplay I've seen so far far is impressive. The fourth game is Devil May Cry. The reason I'm putting this game so high up on the list is because Devil May Cry is a fantastic game on the PC and there aren't a lot of high quality mobile games like it. So with Young Cheng putting so much work into creating a high quality version of their game, I believe this game will perform a lot better than it might seem at first glance. Furthermore, the flexibility offered in the fighting style of Devil May Cry should pair perfectly with a serious mobile gamer. The fifth game game is Apex Legends. Now the only thing novel about this game for 2021 is that it will be new to mobile. But Apex Legends is a very popular game and anytime a very popular game is able to successfully port their game over to mobile, they experience a lot of success. Furthermore, battle royale games like Apex Legends are doing really well on mobile phones because it's so easy when you have a 30 minute break just to get on your phone and play a game real quick. So even though this game is not going to be offering something super novel to the mobile 
mobile gaming community, it will be a new high quality version of something they already love. The sixth game is Project Odin from Lionheart Studios. This prediction is a little bit more of a gamble for me than the other five games I've already mentioned because what some people love about vast world RPGs others find boring. And then when coupled with the nature of mobile gaming, it is likely that this game will not reach the top 10. I was very underwhelmed with the response that Bethesda got with their new mobile Elder Scrolls game. But there's something about this game that makes me think that it might reach the top 10. Norse mythology is really in vogue right now, and the idea of being able to fight against giants is really attractive to RPG gamers. So if they're able to pull it off well, then I think this will make it to the top 10. The seventh game is the upcoming NetEase game, the Ragnarok. This is another Norse mythology based game and it looks unbelievable. Now they call this demo footage so I don't know what the actual game will look like but if they were able to add this type of climbing mechanics into a mobile MMORPG it will definitely be in the top 10 and then if they're able to add these type of fighting mechanics mobile or PC then it will likely be the number one game for the year. But I'm pretty sure these fighting mechanics are choreographed because that's pretty typical in games nowadays and because this surpasses current and gaming technology, even for MMORPGs on the PC. But regardless, this game looks incredible and NetEase has been doing really well in the area of mobile gaming. Their games are incredibly innovative, in touch with what is fun for mobile gamers, and have a frighteningly well done blend of free to play and pay to win features. So I'm confident that this will be a top game for this year. The eighth game is also a NetEase game called Code T. Code T is a new cyberpunk themed game in which the gamers become bounty hunters against Against an overwhelming force of crime rooted in a futuristic world. Just like the Ragnarok, this game does not have a release date, but generally when NetEase starts to release teasers, the games are not that far off, which is why I'm predicting that this will be one of the top mobile games of 2021. The ninth game is Among Us. This game was for 2020 what I'm predicting Frostborn will be for 2021. This time a year ago, almost no one would have predicted that Among Us was going to be a top 10 game. In fact, the game has been out since since 2018, so its explosion was somewhat of a phenomenon. Now, I almost didn't put this game on the list because just like PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile exploded in 2019 and are still great games with great player bases, the hype around these games have died down too much for them to be on this list. But the reason I am keeping Among Us on this list, even though it had its big explosion last year, because it is still unique enough of a game that it will continue to stand out and be talked about, therefore increasing the longevity of that hype. In fact, just Two weeks ago, I got together with my in-laws and they told me that they found this new exciting game called Among Us and wanted to play it as a family. I was, of course, happy to hear about their discovery and told them I was excited to play it with them. And then the 10th and last game will go to H1Z1. This game is not that different from some of the other games we've already mentioned, but the reason I'm putting it on the list is because the devs have a lot of things going for them. First, H1Z1 is a classic with the first version of Battle Royale, and when the classics do something that everyone Everyone else is doing, there's less resistance among players to check it out. Second, H1Z1 is putting a heavy emphasis on cars, which the mechanics for driving cars on mobile phones has gotten a lot better in the last two years. Now I do have a few concerns that they will be able to pull this off well because shooting from a car that someone else is driving is really difficult and if the devs help us out too much it just won't feel very satisfying. But if they're able to pull it off, it should be a lot of fun. And then lastly, the devs of H1Z1 seem to be doing a pretty good job of advertising, which of course helps a lot in mobile gaming. Well, that's it guys, hope that helps. If there is a game that you think should be on here that I missed or something else that you think people should know, make sure to put it in a comment below so that I can improve and others can see it. All right guys, I'll see you next time.